This video will be an exciting one, as I will be testing the newest CO2 laser cutter from Xtool, the Xtool P2. This is a 55-watt desktop CO2 laser cutter which offers the biggest range of features and accessories of any CO2 laser cutter currently on the market. This laser cutter boasts a clever dual camera system for amazing positioning precision. It can be controlled with the Xtool Creative Space software, and it also supports light burn. I will also put it through a range of technical tests. I will engrave my standard engraving test pattern, and I will put it through a lot of different cutting tests ranging from thin to very thick plywood and acrylic, as this machine is an excellent laser cutter. I will also compare all the features and test results to the Guayki Cloud Pro which I have tested previously. The machine weighs 45 kilograms and comes in a big sturdy cardboard box. Inside it is well protected in foam packaging. The machine looks very nice and it definitely shows similarities to the Glowforge and Guite Cloud with its one-button interface. The machine definitely looks and feels very premium and high quality. The lid is supported by pneumatic cylinders. This makes it easy to use as there is no danger of the lid accidentally closing down. The lid also has an automatic lock which automatically locks the lid, preventing it to be open during the machine operation. The machine has an enclosed design. This makes it safe to use as it is not necessary to use eye protection, since it is impossible to open the lid while the machine is working. The laser beam enters the working area through this hole and is bounced by this mirror into the laser head. The CO2 laser tube sits stationary in the back. For comparison, the Guayki Cloud Pro has the tube sitting on the Y-axis which makes the axis heavier and slower. Xtool P2 is better in this regard as it will be able to engrave faster. There are two 16-megapixel cameras in the machine. One is stationary and can capture the whole working area, and the other one is mounted on the laser head to precisely capture a small part of the working area. This helps a lot to achieve amazing positioning precision which was always an issue with single-camera lasers like Guite Cloud or Glowforge. On the laser head there is also the Z-axis focus motor, an air assist tube and the beam deflection mirror. It has a plastic enclosure but the top cover has metal plating on the inside which is great for fire safety. Speaking of fire safety, this machine can be connected to the X-Tool fire safety set which uses gas cartridges to extinguish the flames if the material catches fire. This is an awesome feature. On one side there is an emergency button, and on the other side there are interface connectors. The machine can be connected via USB-C, Wi-Fi or the Ethernet connection, which is great if you have a larger distance between the machine and computer. The Xtool P2 also has a connection for connecting the RA2 Pro rotary system for engraving cylindrical objects, but more on this in my next video. The bottom lid is removable for easy cleaning. On the rear side there is a smoke exhaust port which needs to be directed out the window, or you can also use the Xtool smoke purifier which eliminates most of the smoke and smell. Before use, you need to remove the rear cover and inspect the laser tube for possible shipping damage. Next to it, you will see a coolant reservoir and this machine also has a flow sensor which measures the flow of coolant to detect in case the machine would have a coolant leak or the pump would malfunction. This will prevent damage to the laser tube. Before use you need to pour in the distilled water and the included antifreeze into the CO2 tube cooling system and wait a bit for the bubbles to go away. The machine has a nice display which shows the coolant temperature and the status of the machine. First let's test how precisely can you position the engravings using its innovative dual camera system. I will engrave this anodized aluminum keychain I got from Chewbarka.com. The main camera captures the full workspace and the second camera which is mounted on the laser head will capture the part with much higher precision. I have engraved this cool looking design I designed in just a minute using Kittle.com graphical designer. Xtool Creative Space software is free and easy to use and offers all the capability needed for operating the Xtool P2 laser machine. The machine locks the lid during the engraving process which removes the possibility of being accidentally blinded by the laser beam. The engraving looks great, and it is precisely positioned on the keychain just like we wanted. 
Standard single camera systems are accurate to around 3 mm, but this dual camera system provides much higher position accuracy. The machine also comes with spring retainers which are great for holding down the bent plywood boards which greatly improves the engraving quality. First I connected the machine to Lightburn to run it through my standard engraving test patterns. If you want to download my test patterns and test your machine, check the link in the video description. The power scale test will show us how the machine performs when engraving at different speed and power levels. I have these patterns set up for many different lasers ranging from 5 to 40 watt diode lasers and a separate one for 50 plus watt CO2 lasers like this one. The pattern for CO2 machines uses the fastest speed for all patterns. The interval test in horizontal and vertical direction shows us how fill density affects the engraving quality. The photo engraving will show how good is the machine at engraving bitmap photos at different power levels. The results look quite promising. If we compare it to the Guayca Cloud Pro, it looks like the Guayca is more powerful engraver as it burned through the board at lowest speed. But this is not the case as you will see later. The X-Tool has a more linear shading progression which means that the X-Tool is better at regulating optical power output. The same can be seen with photo engraving. If we compare the test pattern to the X-Tool D1, 40 watt diode laser engraver, we can see that the diode laser offers even more dynamic range. Note that the engraving speeds are different. The diode laser engraver appears to produce less smoke stains, but if you look closer, you can see that the X-Tool P2 produces much deeper engravings than the X-Tool D1, and consequently, more smoke is produced. You can use tape on the material and peel it off afterwards which will eliminate smoke staining of the surface. Next I compared both the X-Tool P2 and the Gwike Cloud at high-speed engraving. Once again the P2 shows much more linear power control and it also produced deeper engravings than the Gwike, which means that the X-Tool P2 has more output power. Another advantage of the X-Tool P2 is that it is still a GRBL machine, just like all the diode laser engravers. This means that you will be able to use the cheapest Lightburn license and you will not need to upgrade Lightburn to DSP license if you already use Lightburn for your diode laser engraver. Currently you can't use all the smart features of the X-Tool P2 in Lightburn. Focusing can be done by adding a G-code command to set the material thickness, or you can manually move the laser nozzle down by the required amount before engraving, using the movement controls. And currently you can't use camera in Lightburn. You need to frame the engraving manually. This is probably going to be improved in future updates. Next I ran my standard cutting test pattern on 3 and 6 mm thick poplar plywood. The pattern is divided into two sides. One uses one pass, and the other uses two passes to cut through the material at different speeds and power levels. Just look how well it cuts this 3 mm thick plywood board. The 6 mm thick board is also being cut like butter. This machine is a very capable laser cutter. Compared to the Gwike Cloud Pro, the X-Tool P2 wins the cutting competition. This machine should have a much more focused laser spot in order to be cutting at a much faster speed. I also ran this test pattern on 4mm thick plywood board. The result was identical to the Gwike Cloud Pro cutting the 3mm board. This means that the X-Tool P2 is able to cut approximately 25% faster than the Gwike Cloud Pro. I also tried to cut the 10mm poplar plywood board. At 600 mm per minute, it was able to cut through in just over one pass and at 1800 mm per minute, it needed only three passes which are very impressive results. Now I will demonstrate a cool function that Xtool Creative Space Software offers, and it's called Automatic Batch Fill. For this purpose I will need a small batch of identical parts which I will quickly cut out using the software's internal shape library. Then you place the shapes on the laser bed and scan them with camera. Then you adjust the design on one of the shapes and by pressing the smart fill button, the design will be automatically copied to other shapes too. This leaf is a pretty complex shape for camera recognition, and a few extra random placements happened, but others were looking well. 
I deleted the excess ones and proceeded with engraving. The results are very good. This feature will definitely save you a lot of time when trying to engrave a lot of loose parts simultaneously. The next test on the list was the acrylic cutting test. I decided to use transparent acrylic because unlike diode lasers, the CO2 machines can engrave transparent acrylic just as well as colored ones. Because the air assist pump is enabled, there is a bit of hazing around the text. You can get around this by leaving the protection film on the acrylic board and remove it later. The test pattern is the same as I use for plywood cutting, just a smaller size. Compared to Gwite Cloud Pro, the X-Tool is almost twice as fast at cutting acrylic which is incredible result for only a 5 watts of difference in optical power. This means that the X-Tool has a much more tightly focused laser beam. Next, I tried to cut 10mm thick black acrylic at 600mm per minute like I do with all laser engravers. It was able to cut through in only 2 passes which is a record. Gwike Cloud Pro needed 5 passes, and the X-Tool D1 Pro with 40-watt octadiode laser module needed 6 passes. Also the cut is very clean and shiny. Then I ran my anodized aluminum test pattern. Engravings on aluminum come out very crisp and detailed and because of that, I use it to measure the laser focus spot size and shape. The pattern consists of some very small text, and a set of three squares which are engraved at different speeds ranging from 100 to 10,000 mm per minute. This can show us how stable is the machine at higher speeds. The main part of this test is the interval test. This pattern consists of a set of shapes which are filled with lines, spaced from 0.05 to 0.4 mm in vertical and horizontal direction and it is used to measure the focus spot size and shape. We will need a microscope to evaluate the results. The small text engraving is perfect. It is the best result I have seen so far. Minimal mechanical vibrations are visible even with the smallest of text. Amazing! The set of squares engraved at different speeds is also perfect. Notice that the gap at the last square is due to a mistake in the design file itself. Looking at the interval scale test we can see that the laser spot is sized just under 0.2 mm square. The pattern is much crisper than the Gwake Cloud Pro. You can check my full review of the Gwake Cloud Pro, I will put a link in the video description. Next, I wanted to know how well the laser spot retains its focus at a greater distance. This will be a good indicator of how well it will cut thicker materials. The pattern consists of four squares. The first one is engraved in perfect focus, and the other ones are engraved further away from the optimal focus to see how large the laser spot becomes when cutting thicker materials. I was able to use the Z-axis focus adjustment instead of my usual procedure by underlaying acrylic plates. The results are very impressive. The X-Tool P2 retains focus very well, much better than Gwike. It retains focus approximately as good as the Sculptfun S30 Pro Max which is a 20-watt diode laser engraver which has the best focus spot retention so far. By knowing that this machine retains focus very well, I proceeded by trying to cut this 15mm transparent acrylic. I set the speed to 10mm per second like usual and full power. It was able to cut through in only 5 passes which is phenomenal. Then I reduced the speed to 2 mm per second and the machine didn't make it through by just a tiny bit. By setting the speed to 1 mm per second, the P2 was able to cut through in only one pass. If we compare the quality of the cut, we can see that the single pass at lower speed has produced much cleaner looking cut, compared to using higher speed and multiple passes. I also wanted to see how well it will cut out more complex shapes like this figure of a dude on an one wheel. The result is incredible. I really did not expect such a good quality when cutting small parts out of the acrylic this thick. Another cool thing about this laser is that the slats can be removed and adjusted as necessary. 
Here I made a quick test to see how well the X-Tool P2 cuts 18mm thick spruce board at 600mm per minute. It was able to cut through in only two passes which is an amazing result. The result looks very clean and there is minimal charring. I have also tested its auto-focusing function which is still in beta phase. For this purpose I have created this simple curved surface. In the software you first need to choose curved surface and then you need to move the laser dot in the top left corner of the workpiece. When you have saved that point, you do the same for the bottom right point. Then the machine will measure an array of points and make a correction data set. The captured curve looks very nice. Then I positioned my engraving on the surface and started the engraving process. To see the effect more clearly, I have drawn another square around the text. Watch how it corrects the z-axis height in real time. This is a great feature for engraving wooden spoons, plates, bowls and even tumblers without the need of the rotary tool. The engraving is perfect. Now it's time to make a final verdict, list the pros and cons, and check how this machine compares to the competitors. The X-Tool P2 laser cutter is a highly capable machine with exceptional cutting performance, particularly for thick materials. Its dual camera system ensures precise operations, while a wide range of advanced features, attachments, and accessories enhance its versatility. The machine boasts many safety features and exhibits great mechanical stability, delivering fast and precise results. The included X-Tool Creative Space software, which is free, offline and capable, enables users to fully unleash the machine's potential without limitations. Additionally, the X-Tool P2 supports Lightburn and offers excellent connectivity options. Despite a few drawbacks, the X-Tool P2 laser cutter is a competitively priced machine that has left its competition far behind.